My name is Betty Mancucci. I live in the village of Glendale in town of Boroughville. I've lived there my whole life. And um, I really urge you to support this bill. It's really, really important. It's really a win-win for democracy. It allows the voters of Boroughville to decide if they agree with any tax deal the town makes with Invenergy. And why shouldn't the voters in Boroughville decide if they like the tax treaty? It's only fair to the people here because we have to live there. We have to live next to this power plant if it's built. I feel like my rights regarding the siting of this plant have been stripped away, and this bill gives us, the voters, some of those rights back. Um, looking at um, various government boards, uh, you know, and, and, and talking about the number, I mean, there's always more than three people. And um, this decision is just way too important and affects way too many people in so many adverse ways. And to be cited on by three people is just, it, it just doesn't do it justice. And just when I think back when the first meetings I went to, uh, and there was two people there, and that's when um, various groups went before the Energy, Energy Facility Siting Board and said um, that they wanted to be interveners. Mm -hmm. And most of the interveners were denied intervener status, and it was two people that decided. I mean, they would say, um, you know, I'm, I make a motion. You know, all in favor say aye, and they would both say aye. I mean, it just looks so ridiculous with just two people. And then later on, I mean, it was only recently this third person came on board, and he had to catch up. And that seemed to be okay. Um, so adding more people, like so many people have said before me, more brain power, more opinions, more expertise, how can that possibly be bad? You know, it's, it's only for the good of, of, um, of any decision that's made. And the other thing we keep hearing from, you know, from the, from the union and, 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 and economic people, you know, and this bill really has nothing to do with jobs or the union, and it has everything to do with democracy and giving people a voice in their government. I don't understand why the unions are against this bill. You know, does having more members on the siting board make the process less fair to them? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. And why should union members who live out of town or out of state be concerned with how much the town of Boroughville co collects from uh, taxes from Invenergy. This is a concern to the people of Boroughville and not to people that live out of town or out of state. Um, Invenergy recently paid for an expensive ad in the, in the uh, journal uh, telling its readers that House Bill 8240 was a job killer and it sends a message that Rhode Island doesn't care about jobs. I mean, that is absolutely not true. The ad was just a scare tactic to make people believe something that isn't true. Um, and Invenergy's only interest is money, and they don't, want to, they don't want taxpayers to have a say in the amount of tax that they will pay to the town. They want to pay as little as possible. All we want is a little more democracy, a chance to have a vote, at the end of the day, the union workers go home, but we live here, so why shouldn't we have a say in how much tax Invenergy pays? Um, also, the, plan, uh, the, the plant violates the Rhode Island Re Resiliency Act, um, and, you know, what's the purpose of the act if it's not going to be respected? Um, it was mentioned that this bill sets a precedent. Well, siting a frat gas power plant in the middle of the woods and in the middle of a state management area and state parks, a place of be beauty with lakes and rivers and ponds, that sets a precedent, too. And the people should be able to be in this decision-making process about how much uh, the plant pays in taxes. Um, just, you know, going back to the town council negotiating the tr tax treaty, we, when they start, first started negotiating, the residents didn't even know about it. And at one of the town council meetings, somebody asked them, are you negotiating? And they didn't want to answer. And finally, the, the uh, town solicitor said, yes, we are. And he kind of said it in a low voice. And the whole audience was gassed, like, this was a surprise to us. We didn't know. So we really need a voice back in and what's happening here, and this bill provides that to us. So we really, really need it. I thank Senator Fogarty and Representative Keeble for, for this bill, and I really, really, really hope that you support it. Thank you very much for hearing us.